good evening so here we are with another project okay we have this generator this Coleman generator that we converted over to liquid propane and it won't start it has spark it has liquid propane and it has gasoline but there's something wrong internally there's no compression so something's gone wrong in here and we'll show you I'm gonna put a compression gauge on this thing and then we're gonna do a cylinder leakage test which I was taught to do when I was a mechanic so we're gonna do both tests and then we're gonna determine what's wrong with it if it could be a head gasket an exhaust valve uh, a intake valve or it could be rings so by doing that test you eliminate and fi figure it out before you start tearing it apart okay so this is a compression gauge we're gonna use I've taken out the spark plug and I've also <clears throat> I'm taking out the spark plug and I've also set up a drill because I'm getting too old to pull it by hand so we're gonna spin it over so right now we're just gonna spin it over you'll see the spark right here I don't know if you saw that Turn off the light. Okay, so spark plug is working. So we're going to take that out of the way. We're going to pull the spark out of the way. And we're going to put this gauge in. So we should have about 60 to 80 pounds of pressure. And I'm gonna spin it over and you're gonna watch the gauge. We got nothing. It's like there's no compression, there's nothing. I'm pretty sure, tight, yeah, we got tight. Do it again. got 30 pounds of pressure and compression it's not enough to fire this engine so the last test that I was taught is to find out where the compression or the air is going so the next setup will be a cylinder leakage test Okay, so here we are. We're gonna do a cylinder leakage test. What does that mean? We're gonna pump air down the spark plug with the two valves closed, hopefully, and we're gonna put X amount of air into it, and we're gonna listen either through the, uh, uh, the muffler or the carburetor if air is leaking through, or is it going down the crankcase? If it's going down the crankcase, that you can't, you should hear the air coming through where you fill it up with oil. So you take a little tube, you stick your ear next to the tube and put it next to the oil there and you would hear air coming out. The biggest thing you gotta do, or the most important thing is get it on TDC, which is top dead center. So you rotate the engine until, and I always use a pencil, so in case you do crush it, it's not a big deal. And you can see it, it's on an angle on this engine and we're gonna bring it back and there it is. See the pencil moved? okay see it come up so right now it's starting to go down we're right here TDC is right here top dead center okay so we're gonna put all that away we're gonna take our cylinder leakage test adapter and you could do this with a straight hose too if you don't have a cylinder leakage tester you can put pump air but you can't pump a lot of air you'll see how much I put in maybe 30 PSI's not a lot because you're just listening to where the air is going you're not getting crazy you're not building up pressure in there to spin it over so right now I'm gonna connect this okay I'm gonna bring this over here 
I'm gonna put my air supply in here. I have zero. I'm gonna I'm gonna connect my spark plug. Okay, adapter, <clears throat> and I'm gonna increase the air. And I hear the air already. And it's coming through the exhaust valve. So that means the intake valve is good, the rings are good, but the exhaust valve is hanging up or something's wrong. So I'm gonna rip this apart right now, take the head off, and then we'll uh, show you what we found. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna take all the sheet metal off so we can get to the cylinder head. We have to see that exhaust valve. Maybe there's a piece of dirt under there. Maybe there's carbon under there. We don't know, but we know that the exhaust valve is leaking through our tests before. So we're gonna start taking everything off and when we get to the cylinder head, we'll bring you back. Okay, so we took all the sheet metal off. <clears throat> now we're gonna pull off the head bolts. And it doesn't matter how you take it off, it's when you put it back on and you got to use a torque wrench to torque the head back on. So we're just going to pull this off and we're going to look at the exhaust valve and see what we got. And so here we go. I'm going to get my magnet. There's always one that's really tight. See, those two are different. That was what's holding the gas can on, the gas tank on. So make sure they go back over there. There's two washers. Okay. Make sure you get both of them. Okay. Make sure they're face down. They're concave. Hmm. Different. Interesting. Do you see that? Okay, we're going to tap it with a nice little brass hammer. So here's the exhaust valve, and here's the intake valve, and we're looking at it, do the other one, see, right now if there's anything, looks like something is in the way there, I don't see any scoring, let me get my light. So 
looks pretty clean. Okay, so the next thing is to take these valves out and look at them, especially the exhaust one. See what the heck's going on. Why are we leaking air? So, let me take off the muffler and then we can open up that, that uh, where the spring is and we'll bring you back then. Okay, so we're gonna take the breeder out. See, this is uh, breeds the oil. And here's the intake and this is the exhaust. So you can watch it as I spin the engine over. Um, it should rotate, the valve should rotate. And you'll see this one rotate. You see it rotate? As I'm moving it, that one's not rotating. So something's wrong here. We're gonna figure it out. See how nice it rotates? So let me compress this spring and then we'll bring it back. Okay, so we took out the springs. We took out the valves. Um, I'm gonna show you what we found. So this is the intake valve. Okay, and you can see there's a nice line all the way around. So this one is sealing properly, but we'll clean all this up. And this is how this thing comes apart. There's a valve stem seal, okay, because it's the intake. That sits in here, it's nice and easy. So that wipes the oil off as it goes up and down. This spring sits there, and this is the keeper. The keeper goes on like this. And you wish it's that easy when it's sitting inside there. We gotta get a, a spring compressor to compress the spring, and then we can slide the keeper on. And that's the way it sits in here, in the chamber. And you can see that those pins, the um, followers, cam followers, ride up and down as we go up and down and pushes the valve open. And there it is. So I measured it at six thousandths and six thousandths clearance when the valve is closed. Let me show you that the culprit that's not making it. And you can see there's no line on this. Okay, there's nothing. So that means this thing is not sitting properly and you can see it. You can't see it on the camera, but I can see it. There's crustacean on this valve. So we're going to clean this up, clean the seat up and lap it in with a uh, valve lapping compound. We're going to get some and we'll show you how to do that in the next video and reassemble this. We have to get a head gasket. We're going to get uh, the valves cleaned, clean all this up and then we'll show you back how we're going to assemble it. And off we go.